Hello dear students in this video we are going to conclude our chapter electricity i would like to ask you few questions first question number 1 do you know that the electric geyser which we use in winters is based on what principle question number 2 we use electric iron to iron our clothes but have you ever thought how does it work question number 3 in all the appliances that i am discussing what exactly is happening which is converting electric current into heat see i am switching on one appliance i am switching on electric iron i am thinking that through that plug current is traveling current is moving but at the other end what i am actually seeing is heat produced but the major question is why is that happening what is happening to that current which is getting converted to heat to answer all these questions you need to study heating effect of electric current actually what happens when you just connect a battery to the circuit okay or the electric current is passing through the conductor now electric current is passing that means charge carriers are just moving and when charge carriers are moving that would mean they have a certain passage through which they are going in that passage they will strike with the atoms of the matter they will strike with the ions the other electrons of the matter through which they are traveling and when they are just striking them don't you think that during that collision during those collisions a part of their kinetic energy will be lost kyunki collide hua hai to aisa to nahi hai ki kinetic energy waisa hi rahega so a part of their kinetic energy will be lost but we have studied that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed so what exactly will be happening basically that will be getting converted to heat energy right and this is how the heat is produced so whenever a current is passed through a conductor the conductor becomes uh, hot after some time this means the electrical energy that the charge carriers are carrying is being converted to heat energy now just think from your daily life what are the devices what are the appliances that are based upon this heating effect itself of course you have electric bulb okay of course you have electric furnace uh, you have electric geyser you have electric iron so all these appliances if you give a closer look to each one of them what are you going to observe you are going to observe that the current which flows through them eventually gets converted to heat exactly this is happening there right so just suppose i'll i'll tell you you have a uh, this electric iron okay this is the wire plug so current is coming but the material which is used in this electric iron have you ever uh, heard your mother is complaining that the heating element the element of electric iron has been fused or it's not working properly so what's that exactly that element the element is something which actually is a very high resistance material i tell you jaan boochkar yahan par high resistance material use kiya jata hai kyunki hame heat extract karna hai hame heat chahiye uska dekho electric geyser mein agar heat nahi aayega to of course water will not get warm we know that right so aise mein this is electric geyser we use intentionally a very high resistance material in it so that the current which is going in that high resistance material all of it gets converted to heat and eventually the water gets warm so it's just 
the tricky mind of the scientist who's working behind it ki jo materials ka bahut zyada resistance hoga usko bhi hum use mein leke aa sakte hain how to have this effect because if the resistance is very high electric current will come charge carriers are going to come and come and they'll strike this material and eventually their kinetic energy will be lost and the uh, that energy will be converted to heat energy right so just think how much will be the heat produced do you have any idea that on what factors heat produced will be dependent first of all let me bring to you some of the important facts that whenever a conductor is connected to a battery the current starts flowing right the current starts flowing and when the electrons are flowing they will strike with the atoms and electrons of the matter which is present there they'll strike with the atoms uh, and ions of the wire itself and when they'll strike that they'll they'll just uh, experience a kind of a friction right to abhi kya hoga agar unko jana apna continue rakhna hai they'll have to overcome this friction okay the work which is done to overcome this friction is known as this heating effect that work is converted to heating effect first of all now we will discuss on what factors heat produced will depend see if the current flowing is more if more and more electrons are flowing right they will experience more and more collisions so in more and more collisions they will uh, simply produce more and more heat jab collide karti hain cheeze right so h is dependent on i square right after that you have the resistance more the resistance of material more will be the heat produced and also dependent on the time for which you have connected a battery to the circuit क्योंकि जितना टाइम के लिए आप बैटरी कनेक्टेड रखोगे फॉर दैट टाइम ओनली द हीट विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड आई टेल यू व्हाई सी इफ यू विल कनेक्ट द बैटरी फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ओके मोर करंट विल फ्लो करंट विल फ्लो फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो व्हेन करंट विल फ्लो फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम डोंट यू थिंक गुलिजन विल हैपन फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम and don't you think that the heat will be getting produced and produced so overall heat produced is also dependent on the time for which the electric current is passed so these are the three factors over which heat produced depends okay that's known as joule's law of heating h is equal to i square rt the derivation is not there in the syllabus that's why i cannot tell you that why i square is being used right because the derivation is not there in the syllabus but what we need to remember we need to remember the formula we need to remember the factors on which heat produced will be dependent so this is it heating effect of electric current